I'm telling you, I'm not even exaggerating. It seemed like as soon as I got rid of this stuff and got it out of the house, our health started to improve and the allergy symptoms started to disappear. Hey nature lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the home of all things holistic wellness, healing, spirituality, and all that good stuff. One of the main purposes of this channel is to build a community of people who are on a journey of discovering the, the potential they have to heal and on a journey to find answers when it comes to treating the root cause of issues and not just the symptoms like we have been taught. Now let's just jump straight into it. Today I'm going to be talking about the negative side effects of things like household cleaning products and laundry detergents and why I had to completely rid those things from my life and the devastating effects that they had on me and my family. And first I want to read this message that I got on Instagram from Katie because this is what reminded me to make this video. So she said, I had to stop using detergents and get a plant-based sheet of soap because they were giving me asthma symptoms. Same with scented trash bags and a lot of soaps. So a while back, I shared a video on TikTok that went viral of me stitching another video that was explaining how there's these different laundry detergents that were banned because of how toxic they were. But it's just crazy because when I saw that original video that I stitched of the woman explaining all these different detergents that got banned, it was at a time where I had already been going through different household products and different things trying to see what could have been causing symptoms that we had already been dealing with as far as allergies. Me and my family had been suffering for who knows how long because the symptoms would come and go and it would be so confusing because it resembled, it resembled something like cold symptoms. That was the scary thing that I realized because it's like the whole time you think you're getting sick or you think that there's something wrong with you when really there are these different environmental factors which are things that you're bringing into your home unknowingly that are causing all this damage and destruction to our health unnecessarily. And one of the most devastating parts about it is I'm watching my little one suffer unnecessarily, going through coughing fits, sneezy, itching, and like all this irritation. So there was finally something that clicked that just let me know that the laundry detergent is what needed to go because I had already narrowed it down to barely anything. Like I had already switched to so many different alternatives for cleaners and other things around the house. But I was still holding on to like certain laundry detergents and products out of convenience. I have finally decided to, to stop using laundry detergent altogether just to see if that was having any type of effect on what we were dealing with with our health when it came to all these crazy allergy symptoms or cold symptoms that were just so constant. I'm telling you, I'm not even exaggerating. It seemed like as soon as I got rid of this stuff and got it out of the house, our health started to improve and the allergy symptoms started to disappear. And it's even scary just thinking about it now because you would think that using the product is what's going to affect you, but no, just having it in the home was still causing this allergic reaction. At the time, I had no idea how many people that video I posted was gonna help. It still blows my mind going through those comments and seeing how many people realized that it was the laundry detergent that had been causing all of these crazy symptoms either for themselves or their kids when it came to dealing with eczema or asthma or any other type of allergy type of symptom and finding out that is not just me and seeing all these different comments from people saying, wow, this just changed my life. I would have never thought to assume that laundry detergent would be what has caused me all these health issues all along. So if you have 
or have ever dealt with things like allergies or asthma, you may want to consider the fact that maybe you don't just have allergies and maybe this isn't just a part of who you are because maybe you're not healthy enough or maybe like it's just you as if you're the problem you may want to consider that there are certain environmental factors especially when we are exposed to these type of chemicals that we're using in our homes so that plus the fact that we are literally being hit from every angle with poor quality food, water, air, lack of holistic wellness. That is what is wearing down our immune systems and putting us in these vulnerable states. And if you ask me, it almost feels a little intentional. It almost feels a little deliberate that we're being hit from all these different angles. And it's all purely just to keep us in a weakened state and to keep us away from operating at our full potential. But that's a conversation for another video. So this is something that I haven't shared yet and I haven't really talked about, but is completely related to this topic. And that is, in the past, I developed asthma symptoms out of nowhere after going my whole life being completely healthy, never being hospitalized for anything serious, but all of a sudden I have asthma. It never sat right with me, but the doctors are looking at me like, they're telling me I have this, but nobody's giving me answers. Nobody's really giving me the tools to actually try and treat this properly instead of just like telling me how to treat the symptoms and explaining to me that this is gonna be an ongoing thing, basically for life. So as I'm accepting these new symptoms and trying to cope with now having asthma, I encountered a situation when I was cleaning around the house and I was using some type of cleaning product and it triggered a very severe asthma attack to where I was rushed away in the ambulance and I blacked out, woke up from a coma three days later, being told that I was very close to death. If you notice me like taking a breath in between like each word or like every other word, it's because when I was intubated, which is when they stuck a tube down my throat when I was hospitalized, it caused a lot of damage. And one of the most traumatic things that I've ever experienced in my life was because of this exact issue. I blacked out in an ambulance and did not know if I was ever gonna open my eyes to see my kids ever again. If you know someone that is dealing with these type of allergies or asthma symptoms, please share it and make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we're going to be talking about a lot more when it comes to healing natural alternatives and just spreading holistic health awareness in all different areas of life. So thank you for watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next one.